Hello everyone, Luke here and welcome back to the channel. So some of you guys might know I absolutely love 3D printing. I mean we've had these machines for a good part of the year and we've designed all sorts and printed all kinds of different things. But of course, one thing that didn't occur to me was that I think it's really important to keep the firmware on these things updated. That way you get the latest features, it irons out bugs that can possibly happen. And talking about bugs, I've actually heard that after a while we're printing on these things, it has a little bug that only affects a few people, and that is the screen will freeze. But of course, there's a really easy way around it, and it will only take 20 minutes. And of course, the answer to that solution is to update the firmware. So have a guess what we're going to be doing in this video. <laughs> we're going to be updating the firmware. So the first thing that we actually have to do is get a little SD card, download the files of Elegoo, that way we can put them onto the SD card and go through the steps. So let's go into the computer and I'll show you what to do. And of course, if you have a different brand of printer, the steps are going to be a little bit different. So I'd recommend you go online and check out what that manufacturer has to say. So anyway, let's go to the computer. And right, yo, welcome over to the computer section. So the first thing that I've done is I've come over to the Elegoo website and I'm finding the right firmware that I need. I need it for the Neptune 3 Plus. But don't worry, because in this file, there is the right firmware for all three printers. So I'm just going to click download, come to code, download zip. Right, so, yeah, so after I downloaded that zip file, what I did is I extracted that onto my desktop. The next thing we have to do is make sure that our micro SD card that we're actually going to be plugging in is completely empty. So make sure you format that and it needs to be formatted in the FAT32 file system. So we come back and the first thing that we want is to click on board firmware. Because I'm updating the plus, I'm going to click Neptune 3 plus and this is the original version this is the new version so what i'm going to do is click that click that take this and copy that over to my sd card and then what we do is back out of all of that come over to the screen firmware come to historical version 1.5 beta and drag and drop that onto my sd card and that is all the files that we're going to need so let's go back to the tripod so the first thing we have to do to update this is take our little touch screen off. There's four screws on the back securing this and it actually comes apart really, really easily. So I'm going to take these screws off and then we have to install our SD card in the inside, but I will give you a close up. Now I've separated the case, that is actually what it looks like. And right here is where we install our SD card. So I'm just going to grab that, put that in and just securely put it in. And now what we have to do is connect it back up to the printer and then something is gonna flash up on this screen. So now we're at this point, all I'm gonna do is plug this back into the machine, rest it down and when I turn on the power supply, it's gonna bring up something slightly different on the LCD screen. As you can see, it's updated the firmware. So this will take a few minutes and once that's done, we can turn the machine off, take the SD card out and then put it into the actual machine itself. Okay, once you get this message, the update has been a success. It's time to plug the SD card into the actual printer itself. Okay, so I've actually screwed this case back together because we're now done with this screen. I'm gonna plug this in, put it back in its spot, and then what I can do is plug my SD card in to the printer. And once that's plugged into the computer, we can just switch it back on. It's going to say booting. And then eventually that will change to upgrading hardware. Uh, sorry, up updating firmware. And there we go. That is our firmware updated. And I can tell this is actually new because these animations weren't originally here. There's a few extra um, details about your X, Y and Z axis that wasn't here before. And maybe there's even a few more settings that I'd probably have to look through to see if that's true. Let's turn off this light. But that is pretty much all there is to it. That is now been completely updated. How awesome is that? And there we go, that is our firmware update and it was actually pretty easy. It was two files on an SD card, move the SD card to two places and let the printer do what it needs to do. And of course, if you encounter any bugs, that's probably a good thing to do to try and resolve them issues. And like I said, I've read that a few people have had the uh, screen freezing, and of course if you do that, that will resolve that issue too. And 
During the process, if you do anything wrong, the screen will literally come up with ERROR! You've done something! Well, it won't say you've done something wrong, but it will say ERROR. So it just means repeat the steps and you should be able to update the firmware pretty easily. But I suppose with that being said, that does bring me to the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comments, and I'll try my best to answer them all. Anyway guys, I hope you have the most fantastic day, and I will see you later.